You might want to keep the lights on for this one. Every real life horror story begins somewhere, and none are more chilling than those that occur in a home. What's usually a place of safety for a family sometimes turns into a horror story. But when murder is involved, sometimes the spirits of the dead have unfinished business. Here are the 10 most haunted homes with disturbing backstories. Number one is the Velisca Axe Murder House. The Velisca Axe Murder House in Velisca, Iowa got its name when it became the site of a brutal murder on June 9, 1912. In the early morning hours, Josiah Moore and his wife Sarah, their four children and two of their children's friends were all bludgeoned to death in their beds. Since those events, those who studied the house have noticed odd phenomenon such as falling lamps, flying objects, and mysterious voices, causing many to believe that the Moore family are still haunting it. The house has since become a tourist attraction. At $10 per adult and $5 per child, you too can walk through this house of horrors in hopes of spotting a real ghost. However, if you have $428 to spare, you and five brave souls can spend the night. Just don't follow the sound of giggling children into the cellar. Number two is the Sally House. From the outside, this simple white house in Atchison, Kansas looks innocent, but inside a different story is told. Built in the mid-1800s, the house has had many owners who have all experienced strange phenomena. There have been reports of flying objects, disembodied voices, and burnt finger marks on candles just to name a few. Some owners have even reported ghosts or spirits of some kind leaving scratches and burn marks on them, quickly turning them into former tenants. Numerous paranormal investigators and psychics have investigated the house over the years, revealing EVP recordings from what sounds like a child. This led to the belief that a young girl is still haunting the house. That young girl is Sally, the daughter of one of the original owners who died in the house during an appendicitis surgery. Between the recordings and more that was revealed in a documentary in the 1990s, it's not surprising that the Sally house is considered the most haunted house in Kansas. Number three is Blickling Hall. Blickling Hall is an estate located in Norfolk, England, and also happens to be considered the most haunted home in the country. Blickling Hall is believed to have a famous permanent guest, Anne Boleyn, the former Queen of England. People have reported seeing an effigy of the former Queen every night on the anniversary of her execution. She was beheaded on May 19, 1536 after her husband, King Henry VIII, accused her of being unfaithful, when it was later discovered he just wanted to divorce her since she wasn't able to bear him a son. Today, you can visit the mansion and even spend the night and do some ghost hunting of your own. And who knows, the lady of the house might just grace you with her presence. Just watch your head. Number four is Akershus Castle. Built in the early 1300s, Akershus Castle in Oslo, Norway was designed as a fortress to protect the city from invading armies and was also used as a prison. Over the centuries, many people were executed within its walls, especially over the course of World War I and World War II. Both staff and guests alike have claimed to have heard whispers in dark corridors, screams and rattling chains at night, as well as experienced strange invisible forces pushing them. The castle is said to be haunted by the ghosts of a number of prisoners who were executed there, as well as the ghosts of guards so dedicated that they had never left their posts. There are even some non-human ghostly residents, including a black dog named Malcaniston, who is said to roam the grounds as well as a horse that can be heard trotting near the front entrance. Legend has it that anyone who actually sees the horse will die before the end of the year. Visit at your own risk. Number five is the Amityville House. On Ocean Avenue in Amityville, Long Island, New York is a house that's become a pop culture icon over the last three decades, but not for happy reasons. On November 13, 1974, 23-year-old Ronald Defoe Jr. shot and killed his mother, his father, and his four younger siblings. He was arrested and claimed he murdered them because he heard voices plotting against him. One year later, the Lutz family moved in but fled after only 28 days, 
leaving all of their possessions behind. They claimed that they had been terrorized by paranormal phenomena during their stay, including moving furniture, disembodied voices, and strange noises every night at exactly 3.15 a.m., which was the exact time that the murders had occurred. They tried having the house blessed multiple times, but without any luck. The Lutzes always maintained that they were telling the truth despite opposition from skeptics, and even took a lie detector test, which they all passed. The houses are still there today with a new address, but the same evil within. Number six is the Whaley House. In 1856, businessman Thomas Whaley built his family a home in San Diego, California on land that had been a graveyard and a spot for public executions. His youngest daughter Lillian regularly claimed that she heard the sounds of boots throughout the house and believed it to be the ghost of Jim Robinson, who had been hanged on the property before the house was built. It seemed like the house was doomed from the start, as his other daughter Violet committed suicide there in 1885 after after being humiliated when her husband turned out to be a con artist and left her. There have been countless sightings of spirits roaming the house since the family moved out. And due to reports of the paranormal, nobody chose to live there and it was instead converted into a museum. Thomas's ghost is regularly spotted at the top of the staircase, while his wife, Anna, can usually be found downstairs or in the garden. There have also been reports of the smell of perfume and cigar smoke seemingly coming from no Nowhere. Even TV legend Regis Philbin once claimed he saw the ghost of Anna Whaley there. He also claimed that he would never go back. Number seven is the Borley Rectory. Built in 1862 in Sudbury, England, the Borley Rectory was home to several families over the years. All of them claimed to experience strange sounds, spirit sightings, moving objects, and messages written on the walls. The mansion was originally built for the Borley Church Paris priest and his family, who were first to report hearing mysterious footsteps and to see the ghosts of nuns and headless horsemen. After years of some pretty intense hauntings, the house was left vacant until 19 1937 when Harry Price, a paranormal researcher who had been investigating the home, moved in for a whole year. During his time there, a spirit apparently warned him that the mansion would burn to the ground and the remains of a nun who had been murdered there would be found. Sure enough, in 1939, a new resident accidentally caused a fire and in the cellar, the bones of a young woman was discovered. Whether or not they were actually the remains of a nun remains unknown, but once the house was destroyed and the bones given a proper burial, the reports of hauntings ended. Number eight is Rose Hall. Located in Montego Bay, Jamaica, the ghostly tales that surround Rose Hall still frighten local children. Built in 1770, this former sugarcane plantation was the home of John and Annie Palmer. Legend has it that Annie was born in Haiti to English-Irish parents who died of typhoid fever when she was only 10 years old. She was then raised by a nanny who taught her voodoo and witchcraft. Shortly after, she murdered her husband John and took over Rose Hall before killing another three husbands and countless slaves, many of which she was having affairs with. She eventually met a grisly end when she was murdered by one of her slaves in retaliation. As her reputation as a murder-happy voodoo lady spread, she became known as the White Witch. The spirits of many of her victims are said to still haunt the grounds, along with Annie who is often called forth during seances. In 1965, the house turned into a museum, and to this day, Guests and staff alike report hearing slammed doors and the screams of men throughout the halls. Number nine is Chao Nei number 81. This three-story house in Beijing, China has been left abandoned for years and for good reason. The origins of the house are a bit of a mystery, but most believe hauntings began in the late 1940s. In 1949, a woman hung herself from the rafters and has been reported to have haunted the house ever since. During the Cultural Revolution of the 1960s, the government's Red Guards, a ruthless militant army, were stationed at the house, but they barely lasted a few days before leaving in fear. There have also been stories of people going inside to explore only to disappear, never to be seen again. The house has been vacant for years and even locals won't go inside, but there are still some brave folks who break in, hoping to get a glimpse of a ghost. You can do it too, if you're brave enough. And number 10 is the LaLaurie House. 
Built in New Orleans, Louisiana in the 1800s, this French Quarter mansion was home to one of America's worst serial killers, Madame Delphine LaLaurie. LaLaurie was a respected socialite, but behind closed doors she was an evil and sadistic murderer. She was known for keeping slaves, which was common then, but she would also starve them, torture them, and also kill them. She even chased one of the slave's children with a whip onto the roof, where the child fell to her death. In 1834, after a fire was started by one of the slaves, authorities found a number of slaves hidden, starving, and chained up. Over the years, the house has been bought and sold many times due to residents being scared of the bumps they hear in the night. There have even been reports of the sound of shuffling feet and moaning throughout the house, and just stepping inside can cause intense feelings of dread. The mansion has since been converted into a high-end apartment building, but recently one of LaLaurie's hidden graveyards was found under the floorboards of one of the apartments. Enjoy your time there. So, those were the 10 most haunted homes with disturbing backstories. But I want to know, what do you guys make of these supposed hauntings? Leave your response below because I'll be reading through the comments and I'll pin the best comment to the top. But as always, thank you guys for coming by today. Remember to come back tomorrow and every weekday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. Sweet dreams.